Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Academy here at Prairie Sports Village. And I'm gonna review the TaylorMade M2 Hybrid. This is the brand new 2017 model. I've also got a three wood, the M2 three wood, and the M2 Tour three wood. Reviews of those coming next. Um, M2 Hybrid, I've reviewed the M1 Hybrid, which had the slidable weight and the changeable neck. Well, the M2 doesn't have any of that. It's a fixed neck and it has no sliding weight. It has a big slot behind the face to maximize ball speed off off-centered hits. And it has the same geoacoustic technology in the toe of the club as the driver does, the M2 driver, to help with the sound. And I know the M2 driver was very, very loud. I wonder if that's coming into the M2 Hybrid too. I've got this in three hybrid, 19 degrees, and it does come in a number of different lofts. But like I mentioned, it's fixable neck. It's a fixed neck, so you can't change the loft. It's not as adjustable. Um, but because of the less dancing features, I don't think it's as expensive as the M1. On top, looking down, we have the white and black contrast. And I love the white contrast in this. It's really thin, the front edge, and it's slightly raised up. The back edge, the, the actual white lip of it, slightly raised and has that toe slash heel wrap around, really dark black head um, after that. And it just looks awesome. Really shallow looking club head. Looks aerodynamic when I sit it down behind the ball as well. It's probably, oh, how could I describe it? A fraction deep in the face. I'd probably like to see a hybrid a little bit shallower in the face. That's just a fraction too deep as I'm looking down at it. But let's give it a hit and see how it performs. I'm hitting real Pro V1s on GC2 HMT. It's come out really dead. That came out super well. <laughs> right guys thanks for watching hopefully you've enjoyed the video um that just came out like boom straight up in the air really dead feel to the face really dead flight as well two to eight carry distance for two three six uh super super high flighted that felt really good off the head actually it did feel dead though it felt like it was um uh what's a good description for it not just just dead just didn't give it it wasn't as loud as i expected it to be it was quieter and just came out with so much height and no spin. Oh yeah, I'm a big fan of that flight. Starts off a little bit low and starts to climb into the middle of the green. Again, that's two into the green at 2.30. Very dead sound, much nicer sound than the M2 driver had. I didn't like the M2 driver sound, it was almost too loud. This doesn't seem to be the case. It's nowhere near as big a head, so it's never gonna give the volume of sound that a driver would do. But I really like the, the quietness and the deadness of, of, of the feel. I'm a real big fan of the look of that wood. So it was just a little bit deep from, from bottom to top when I set it up behind the ball. But I've not seen any issues with finding the middle of the face with, the, with both of those two shots. Oh, that's a toey one. Let's see what it does on a toey golf shot. That was hit more towards the toe of the head. It has missed green left, but done tremendously well on distance still. So that was a bad hit that typically goes left off the toe and certainly goes left on hybrids anyway, uh, for certainly myself. Two, two, three carry distance, um, and just slightly more left than what we'd like to see. Is it given a strike location? I'll show you some strike locations in a minute as well. Let's go one more with the... Uh, the M2 hybrid. Bottomed strike, there you go. That's the bottomed hit. And that's pulling up short of that green. Yeah, that only carried it like 215 on that particular occasion. That was a really low strike. Let me just, it normally had the setting that came up with a strike, but that's not coming up today. Let me see if I can just show you strike location. Yeah, there, there's the four shots I've hit so far. Delivery numbers seem to be very good, but just that last one a little bit on the low side. That was a toey one just there. We go one more to finish. I feel like just the only thing that I would love to see different on my own personal opinion of this M2 is a slightly shallower head. After that, it feels great. I love the feel of the head. It feels dead, but it, I like that feeling. And um, another couple of features that it's got this fluted ferrule, which is stripping weight from the, even the ferrule and sticking in different parts of the head. 
I think it's a forgiving wood. I just wish it was a little bit shallower for my own personal opinion. That's just my confidence of hitting woods off the floor, that's all. Let's go one more. And that's off the planet. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible golf shot. I said I should have finished that review on the first shot. What did I say? Let's go one more with this hybrid. Got to finish on a good one. It's a better hit. Low chaser. I think just... Uh, a smidgen off the bottom, make that flatter face, flatter bottom edge. Um, and I think that would really appeal. I'd get the strike location much better. I love the feel off the head. I really do love the feel off the head. That slot behind the face, off the bad ones, it did give decent forgiveness. There was a decent level of forgiveness. On the terrible shot that I hit right, that was all me. Nothing to do with the club, that was all me. I like the look of it. I love the contrast between this white and black. Did that have it in the... Uh, in the M1, I don't think it did, did it? No, so that's what, for me the M1 is nowhere near as good looking as the M2. The M2 is so much better looking. Why did it not bring that in the M1, I have no idea. Because that M2, the white and black contrast like they have in the driver, is just awesome, I love it. Guys, thanks for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Gives you a little bit of insight of what the TaylorMade M2 hybrid has to offer. Um, some really good shots in there, some horrendous ones, but a little bit to do with the club, a lot to do with me. If you are new to my channel, hit subscribe. That's the big red button down below. It is free to do. It'll keep you connected to all of my content. I'm now going to move into the fairway woods, the M2 and the M2 Tour. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.